morning, everybody. Thank you very much for coming to EcoSummit Berlin 2015. It's actually our ninth conference. And we are in the famous Radial system, and I think you agree, it is, to our, in our opinion, the best conference location in Berlin. So what is EcoSummit? EcoSummit is a smart green innovation conference for startups, VCs, and corporates. And now is the time to get you started. Why don't you swap a business card with a person sitting next to you that you don't know yet. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Swap a business card. <clears throat> the goal at the end is that you know everybody here, okay? The most important moment of my opening presentation, I want to say a public thank you to 29 sponsors. It's a new record. I read them out to you. Climate Kick, Germany Trade and Invest, Berlin TXL, Kick Inno Energy, E.ON, EDF, NBW, Enera, a new project by EWE, Stadtkraft, Swedish Energy Agency, Tesla, Autodesk, Asta Capital, VNT Management, Hightech Gründerfonds, Investitionsbank Berlin, Rockstart from Amsterdam, Sonnenbatterie, Sunfire, Solar Kiosk, Ubitricity, Grundgrün, Kiwigrid, Green Pocket, Yetu, Rocket Home, Green Living, Ineon, and Xing Events. Thank you very much to all our sponsors. <clears throat> We digitize the way heat solutions are bought and inso uh, installed, or you could say like we sell them. So our lead generation is very digital. And uh, not only that, but also the actual installation is, or the actual value chain following the lead generation is very digitized the way we do it. Energiewende, energy transition, it is really our goal to reach and to rebuild our energy system to reach 100% renewable energy in our opinion, of course, it should be a smart green energy vendor. And the three important pillars of the energy vendor are energy, mobility, and buildings. Many startups going on to this stage are focusing on these three very big markets. We're about mobile electricity. Mobile electricity and virtual power grid operation, that is, we believe, something that will have a tremendous impact on the future of smart grid operation and the way electricity is distributed, built, and tariffed. The motto of EcoSummit Berlin 215 is accelerating smart green startups, and I added two more ideas. Fast growth, because you need to grow faster than the competition. That is very important. 100% year on year would be nice. 20% year on year is a little bit too little. And global impact, we really want to build big startups that have global impact. I consider myself a very happy man for two reasons. Reason number one is I rode my bicycle today to the Eco Summit. Fantastic. Great workout and uh, zero watt hours of energy expenditure. Um, and I make that comment with, um, intentionally. Second reason is I am running a company which is the energy gateway to untapped markets at the base of the pyramid. And uh, I love this photo so much because you see our product here which is a solar kiosk. And this is one of the typical communities that we are active in. And this is uh, in Somaliland, close to the border to Somalia. This is where not many people are currently doing profitable business, but we do. What is an accelerator? It's basically a company, an organization, or even a person. I think everybody of you can be an accelerator and should be an accelerator that is helping, helping founders build fundable startups and makes them faster and better. And basically, an accelerator is a really good support system for really good startups. Hightech Gründer Fund, I think we stand for three things. We have three things to offer. Obviously, uh, money for, for startups and um, uh, lots of support. Um, we also have to, uh, to offer for investors and corporates a huge portfolio of very, very uh, successful, attractive uh, companies. 
which startups I like the most, they are smart, which means they're working in the internet. They are developing software, not only hardware, but really the combination of software and hardware. And they are green. They have an environmental impact that is positive, and they are optimizing global resource efficiency, and they are lean. From the investor's point of view, lean means capital efficient, trying to reach the goal of going to the market, developing a product, and growing the company with as little capital as possible, because capital is a limited resource, especially in Europe. And the reason why the European industry uh, was on the losing end uh, of the story was not because of lack of R&D, was not because of lack of sales channels, it was because of lack of financing, yes. uh, which the Chinese had in overabundance, both on a corporate level. Uh, each of those Ying Li's and solar funds of this world got many multiples of revenues in terms of debt per year from Chinese-controlled state banks. And they also had the financing on the customer end where they could pre-finance the rollouts uh, of those big solar power plants, which made it very easy for customers to decide what they chose. And the Europeans, unfortunately, were on the short uh, end uh, of that equation, and many of them died. Capital. Always have enough capital, but do not try to raise too much money at one moment, because you should only be raising as much money as you need to reach the next milestone of a higher valuation. Otherwise, you will be selling your startup too quickly. Product. Develop a product. Try to reach product market fit and continue to develop the product because everybody is improving their product all the time. And then in parallel with product development, look for customers. There is nothing that is more exciting for every investor. It is revenues, fast growing revenues. In what kind of world do we live now in terms of energy? Um, we are living in a world that changed a lot, maybe not too much or too rapidly from a VC point of view, but maybe too rapidly from a utility or at least a classical utility point of view. But anyway, it's changing because the world is facing necessarily um, the energy transition. And for us, EDF, we, we think definitely that clean tech startups are key vector for energy transition. Why? Because they can think out of the box, Sometimes this is not what we're doing in EDF or in big corporates. So they can think of new technologies, new services, new business models. EcoSummit Market is actually our open platform for smart green startups. You can go there, create a public profile, and we have been using it for the EcoSummit Award. As you know, in the evening we will be celebrating six startups, three early and three late stage startups that won. Um, the EcoSummit Award. And the result, if there is an online platform where all the startups come together and create public profiles, and they can actually say in their profile that they are currently fundraising, the result is public deal flow. I think it is really useful for investors to have a place where they can find startups that are currently fundraising. And these 100 pre-orders, you yeah. really have them? Yeah, yeah, really. Really? Yeah, you can come to France. We just opened our factory. Now we have to put the machine in it. And uh, that's why we are looking for some money for marketing and sales, but also to industrialize the... Uh, How yeah. much is one house? Uh, it depends, but you, the... On model, average? Yeah, it begins at uh, 170,000 uh, euros for the Leco Model 90. 170. 100. It's uh, more than 10 million in revenue secured already. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Great, man. <laughs> okay, who wants to talk to him about investing? Huh? Nobody? <laughs> Up there, check it out, run, and who else? Okay, that's where you go now. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> and for the corporates that do not only want to invest, but really look for innovation, EcoSummit Market is a very good source for open innovation. And as you know, there's a VC food chain. Not every investor is equal. They are all different. They have different investment strategies, different amounts of capital available. They like to enter in a very early stage or in a later stage. And I think it's very important to find out which investor has which investment strategy. 
And just to give you one example, if I was a VC, here would be my uh, investment strategy. As uh, I explained before, I like smart, green, and lean startups that have really good teams. As you know, the team is really responsible for the development of the startup, and it's about the only thing that an investor can change. If the team doesn't perform, maybe you need to change the team and improve it. And my favorite sectors, energy, mobility, buildings, and then it's not only about the German market, but going international, going to the rest of Europe, and then maybe America and Asia, and then doing an investment, a first investment in an A round, B round, or C round. That's what I call multi-stage. You have to be flexible, because maybe a really good startup already raised a round B, and you couldn't get in, but maybe you are queuing up for the B round for the next one. And then tickets, usually investors what they do is they make capital reserves, and they reserve capital for follow-on investments. <clears throat> Co-investors, I think that's a big trend. There is not a single investor who can support a startup alone. If you are fundraising as a startup, try to find the best co-investors, not only one investor, but many investors that complement each other. And then impact, measuring the social economic and environmental impact of your portfolio. I think that is something that clean tech VCs, smart green VCs should be doing more in order to, yeah, to attract new investors coming into the marketplace, impact investors. Yeah, I, want to, I want you to think about how smart green investing and impact investing is coming together. And then, of course, a dual exit strategy, um, looking at a trade sale opportunity, and at an IPO in parallel. I want to see you again in this room. Thank you very much for coming to Eco Summit.